and I'm going to be using black dye and I'm going to be wearing these latex gloves as should you because unsurprisingly the dye that is designed to permanently dye animal hide is also pretty good at staining your own skin. Um, and to apply the dye I'm going to be using these makeup removal pads. So now just apply some dye to your pad and then you'll see that you can dye. So I'm going to make this all nice and black. This is the blackest dye there is for shoes. Um, what I'm also going to do, it's not important here because this part will go under the heel, but this little edge here will remain visible. So I want to make sure that that's also blackened. There we go, so that little side is blackened. This looks nice and I'm just going to make sure to do the side here too because this will come over the other letter and you will always see this white. I don't want that. So we're going to blacken it and then you see, see it doesn't show up here, it does show up there so this is we go. I'm going to let that sit for half an hour or so and then we're going to start joining um, the different parts of our shoe upper together. Our dye um, has dried so now we're going to be gluing our uh, different parts together uh, and the gluing is a temporary hold because we're going to be sewing it. We need to take our shoe last and then we need to figure out where we drew the lines on it and this is how we're going to glue it. If you're going to put this in the right spot Make sure that the seam allowance is sort of okay. And when we're happy with the position, we're going to put a few nails here and there so that this stays locked down. And then we can position our toe over it, glue it down, and we can also position our back over it and glue that down first. Now to make sure that I'm going to be using the exact position, <coughs> I have recovered this uh, part of masking tape that went on the tip. So I'm just going to draw with the marker the edge. There we go. That's it. And then we have to go one centimeter past that. So I'll just mark that on the last. <coughs> so I have the full line where the toe will stop and then the dotted line, that's where the middle part will go under the toe up until this part. So, the toe will go up to this full line. Sorry. Like that. And this will go under there to the dotted line. There we go, we don't need to hammer in that nail too deep. Side or in the night. Okay, this is in place. Toe cap goes over here, and you can sort of feel the thickness underneath. One centimeter overlap. And the same thing here. Like that. Try to hit your finger as I just did, although realistically it's going to happen sooner or later. As we get ready to glue the leather together, I'm going to make one more um, precaution and I'm going to apply some masking tape here, right next to my leather. So as I glue the toe part here, um, there will be some excess glue probably, and I want to avoid <coughs> that we're going to glue it to the last. I'll do the same thing here. And then, we're also going to want to cover up the letter um, one centimeter in, because this will overlap uh, one centimeter, as we said before, and um, by covering up the rest of the letter, we will not only um, avoid getting, letter, getting glue on our letter, um, we will also have a nice line to align this part with and here. Now, um, resist the temptation to just apply masking tape to the letter because um, eight times out of ten that will go fine and those other two times when you remove the masking tape you will um, damage the letter because it will stick to the tape little parts and you will have um, 
like a basically you will leave a mark. Instead I'm going to cut a strip of paper and I'm going to put that over my shoe and then I'm going to secure it here at the back. So I've taped <coughs> put tape on the last itself so it won't be gluing our letter to the last and then I've covered uh, I've run paper strips about one centimeter from the edge to prevent too much glue getting on the leather, the parts of the leather that will be visible afterwards. <coughs> now we're going to glue our leather together. So I have a can of glue here. This is the glue to glue leather on leather. <coughs> And the way this glue works is that you need to apply glue to both parts and then let it dry a little before pressing them together. <coughs> so I've applied glue on this one side. I've also applied glue here. I'm going to give this a few more seconds to dry out and then we're going to be sticking them together like that. That's better. This is how we do it. On the other side. That's also good. <coughs> now we're going to glue this part here, which will wrap around our shoe like that. So the glue has dried, um, and now uh, carefully removing the paper. So here are our uppers. The next thing we're going to do is to sew them um, here and here. Uh, and before we do that, we're going to remove the nails and take the letter off the last. 